Things you should never ever do on a first date. First impressions and first dates often bring about feelings of nervousness. You might worry about whether you're dressed well, if you smell nice, or if your conversation skills are strong enough to spark a good dialogue. After all, first dates lay the groundwork for future meetings. Therefore, it's important to avoid any unnecessary issues on a first date. With that in mind, here are things you should never do on a first date. 1. Don't talk about the past. It's not advisable to delve into your date's past. Even if the conversation is flowing, avoid bringing up your own past relationships or issues with exes. Instead, focus on learning about the person's interests and preferences, and charm them with genuine romantic interest. 2. Don't ever be late. Believe it or not, punctuality is attractive. It's important to leave your home early enough to ensure you arrive on time for your date. Arriving a bit early and having some snacks or drinks ready on the table can create a positive impression. 3. Don't use your phone. Using your phone during a date is a terrible idea. Admit it, you would be annoyed if your date kept answering calls or texts, and they would feel the same way. Focus solely on your date and avoid any distractions. 4. Don't control any conversations. Don't make the conversation all about yourself. Listen to what your date has to say and ask about their hobbies, likes, and dislikes. Simply enjoy the time together. Avoid discussing serious topics like marriage, children, or settling down. 5. Don't overindulge. Avoid drinking too much on the first date, as it can cause you to lose control and appear sloppy. It's better to showcase your organized side rather than revealing all your messy habits at once. With time, or on subsequent dates, you can relax and be more carefree. 5 People Share Stories When They Found Their Best Friend Best friends are a godsend. They always support us, no matter what. When we're overwhelmed with tears, best friends help us manage our insecurities, motivate us to keep going, and advise us to move on from our exes. Their presence alone is calming and affectionate, giving us the strength to pursue our dreams. Here are five people sharing their stories of how they found their best friend. 1. Hilarious Wedding Crashers One time, my friends and I crashed a wedding. You know how grand those big, fat Indian weddings are, nobody even noticed us. The best part was finding another group of students who had also crashed the wedding. The guys were dressed in suits to blend in. I quickly realized they were fellow crashers and struck up a conversation with one of them. A year later, he's become my best friend. 2. Online Support I joined Omgul because my friends were over, and we wanted to try something fun. I matched with a guy, and as we talked on video call, I sympathized with him. It turned out his girlfriend had broken up with him two days earlier, and he was hoping to talk to girls to ease his pain. I shared my story about how my boyfriend had cheated on me, and since then, we've bonded over countless stories. We've become best friends, even though we've never met in person. 3. Boy Scouts Adventure My friends and I went to a club, and as a gay man, it was a big step for me to be my true self in public. Unfortunately, some guy started taunting and laughing at me, as I cowered, a girl appeared out of nowhere, stood up for me, and told him off in the most assertive way possible. She then took my hand and led me to the counter to get drinks. Now, she's my awesome best friend. 4. Standing up In fourth grade, when I joined the Boy Scouts, I was a shy boy who mainly focused on reading books and getting good grades. My parents enrolled me in the program to help me develop my social skills. It was there that I met Rishabh, who took my hand and helped me overcome my fears and excel in every adventure of the summer program. Eight years later, we're heading to college together. 5. Accidental Friendship One time, I got drunk and was supposed to meet a friend at her place. In my inebriated state, I mistakenly got into a cab I thought I had booked. Midway through the ride, I noticed a girl across from me looking at me as if I had hijacked her cab, 
which, in fact, I had. She kindly offered to buy me some water and food because I was so drunk. I then took her phone, entered my number, and called myself so I could thank her once I was sober. I did, and we've been best friends ever since. Lessons about maturity that make you a fabulous partner. Often, relationships end when one or both partners are too immature to sustain their love. Love alone isn't enough to maintain a relationship, immaturity or an inability to handle situations rationally can weigh heavily on a committed partnership, leading to breakups. Therefore, here are some important lessons about maturity that every partner should understand in a relationship. 1. Don't be selfish. You're not the only one in the relationship, so you can't act solely on your own desires and whims. It's important to consider your partner's needs and preferences because a relationship is built on teamwork and mutual consideration. By avoiding selfish behavior, you'll likely experience fewer arguments and problems. 2. Respect your partner. Avoid saying hurtful and damaging things to your partner during a heated argument. Even if you're upset with their actions, there's no need to be disrespectful. In such moments, it's important to trust your partner and calmly explain what went wrong. Likewise, take the time to listen and understand their perspective. 3. No one is perfect. Your relationship and your partner are not perfect, and accepting this reality is important. Avoid judging your partner solely on their weaknesses. While it's okay to address your partner's mistakes, do so without diminishing their confidence or making them doubt their abilities. Remember, everyone has flaws. 4. Have patience. Patience is a key indicator of maturity. Without it, you can't handle situations fairly. If you approach matters without patience, you risk being seen as judgmental or hasty. Being patient also means being tolerant and understanding of your partner's needs and desires. 5. Accept your mistakes. Apologizing won't diminish you, rather, it will make you a more compassionate and caring person. If you've made a mistake, a sincere apology to your partner is important because letting ego, a relationship destroyer, get in the way is never beneficial. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.